Jordan carried his team while carrying yeah. a 103 degree temperature. It's called yeah. the flu game. Chris yeah. is just it's crazy. Chris and I were just talking about this. Guys, I got a flu. I'm sick. But you know what? We got to keep reacting. So it's a must. I put off the Nike wall as long as I can. I don't want to fall asleep for you guys. I heard, I hear that it's a bad way to get new subscribers by falling <laughs> asleep as you react to videos yeah. although maybe it would be good in our case i've seen a, watching some alice in chains and just yeah, i've seen a few comments say that uh they can't stand it when it doesn't look like the reactors are even paying attention because they said a lot of times in our in the comments for our videos they say yeah most commenters don't even look like they're paying attention or not oh, but they're not uh, criticizing us no no no. they're saying others they're saying others, others not us rules yeah. are for thee not for me no we pay attention and if i'm not looking at the screen it's because i'm looking something up about the song right so which i don't do too often but. if i'm not i'm answering a text <laughs> but you know what i got a flu jordan if jordan can do it you know i can sit through an alice in chains video with a runny nose yeah it's, i think it takes a little less effort than playing you know full steam ahead basketball i don't know it depends on how good alice in chains is well, so, so before we get into this before we get yeah. into this so bill troxel he, he wants to ah, hear, we like hear this. He, he, he recommends all kinds of songs. It's probably the fourth song we've done by him, I would He's guess. He's our rock and roll debtor Zilla Hawk. Yeah. So uh, he recommended Alice in Chains, Down in the Hole. I like Alice in Chains. I purchased one of their albums back in the day. Um, Man in the Box, I think, was the album. Um, that was when you actually had to buy the album, right? The CD. But uh, I haven't heard this song, I don't think. So this is going to be new to me. Man, this new MTV to me as well. Plugged. Well, MTV Unplugged used to do it good before the internet. Yeah. They would like give you special look at your artist's favorite songs, but like playing it acoustic in front. Yep. That was yep. such a good idea. And then the internet came through and said, so what? Anybody can do it now on the video on YouTube. Yeah, and now you got guys like us reacting to this. That's so, right. With all that being said, before I go blow my nose, let's watch Alice in Chains down in a hole, and let's figure out if gonna I'm going to make it for the five this. minutes. You're going to make it for the five minutes. I think I can. You might have to Scotty Pippen me and like right. carry me on your shoulder for, for two minutes. Yeah, give me some Gatorade or something. We need to be sponsored for days like this. We need to be sponsored. All right. Dan's All right. feeling down in the dumps, and then he drank <laughs> your shit, and now he feels great. So let's go, Alice in Chains. I know I've heard about the group because I was a junior high student at one point. And they came out the same time as Nirvana. Yeah, classmates were raving about this, but I was too busy rolling down the street. Too much rap. In Indo. Yep, and but that's around the same time this came out. So here we go. Both from Seattle, too. Oh, Seattle? Oh, I'm ready to call it Nirvana good. and Alice in Chains. Both from Can't there. stand people from Seattle. Can't stand people from Seattle, huh? They're so dreary. Because <laughs> they're boring. Just kidding. You, just it, kidding. Dan's talking about me now. I'm just kidding. Seattle is so fun. Uh, I don't know about that either, <laughs> but sure. You have to be... Okay, anyways. <laughs> You're digging yourself a hole. Hey. Perfect for this video. Here we go. Down Alice in hole. Chains, yeah. down in the hall. Enough commentary. Let's Where listen. Dan is.
Are you Alice in Chain fans? What do you mean, are you? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I bought an album by him. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a huge <sighs> fan. I'm not a huge fan of grunge. Um, right. I mean, I liked it to a degree. I, you know, I purchased their album, uh, Nirvana. Um, I don't think I would have ever seen either of them in concert, though. Wow. And, I, and unfortunately, both, I believe he's dead, too. Both wow. of these singers, I believe, are dead. I'm looking that up right now. I believe he's dead. Rest in peace. Educate us when you get it.
you almost have to smoke a cigarette after singing that shit. That's some <laughs> <clears throat> that's some tough shit, man. Um, takes you to a dark place. Yeah, it's too dark for me. I this is my first the first song I've heard from them. I would they, like to hear more. They have a couple of much better songs, in my opinion. I but, think I might buy an album of theirs, but I wouldn't buy this song right now. But mm-hmm. I it's the kind of music in certain moods that I like. You know, I'm a weird dude because sometimes I like this kind of depressive music. So do you like it when you're high or when you're kind of down? I just like to feel the extremes. Okay. If a so song wanna, takes me to a place, like if you it wanna, could actually transport me there, I like it. You want to be bipolar? Kind of. I mean, I don't want to be, but... No, no, I mean in terms of, of emotional rides yeah, on, a, on, on music. I'll let the music take art. me where the artist wants to take me. Yeah. And if if they can get me there, that yeah, I usually like... I like it, you know, even if I don't necessarily want to feel depressed that day, but I'll hear it. I'll be like, damn, you know, but then I could just hear another song and be back to normal. So this will help you a little more get into that groove of depression. So the lead singer, <laughs> the lead singer, Lane Staley, um, he was six foot tall. He did. He died of an overdose, cocaine and heroin. Um, wow. He was 86 pounds at the time, too. Oh, six foot my tall. God. Who was this dude? The one smoking at the end or the, the guy with the short hair? The, the lead singer, short hair. Damn. What about other dudes? Lane Staley. I, I don't know. I think they formed another group. Of our wow, recall. man. My wife told me that. Uh, I'm pretty sure she told me they formed another You know, group. guys like that and like Kurt Cobain, I think the reason why. Just trouble. So many. Yeah. Troubled so, souls. I think that's why the music resonated with so many. It's like it's reality for them yeah it's dark their life is dark it's like rappers when like you pretend like you had it rough versus when you actually did you can tell in the music yeah man i want more alice in chains i wouldn't buy that song <laughs> but bill t bill t-rex what's his name bill troxel Trox- <laughs> troxel sorry man i'm getting you're a- close you're close i'm getting a ram trx so it's in my bill head. t-rex this is close enough Ram here. what are we going to do with all that horsepower, man? We're going to do burnouts and bump some Alice Jean in chains. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I want more. Bill right. Truxel. Yeah. Um, Less more. And very sad to hear. Yeah. Uh, gosh, what was the name of the, my, my favorite song about it? I can't even remember what it was called. Somebody put in the comments. We'll react to it. Man in the Box, I think. But I think that's the name of the album. I don't know. Rooster? I don't know. I don't recall what it was called. So anyhow, thank you for watching. Cats Jimmy. in the cradle on the silver spoon a little bit <laughs> yeah, later, yeah. a man in the moon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's just babble on. So, Take care, guys. Yep, thanks for Toodles. watching. <laughs> Don't get too depressed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.